we are back underway here in the second point. I'm joined in the booth by my new partner. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Han Chetty, alumni of GVSU Dodgeball. Han, thanks for joining me here. We are coming in on a second point here with uh, Northwestern leading Miami 1-0. An impressive point here for uh, uh, first point for the Demons. Uh, some good communication and group throws. Uh, we'll see if they can keep it up here in the second point. And it uh, looks like number 19, Ramos, getting a kill there, as well as number 55 uh, also taking down a Miami player. I feel like uh, the, the Demons have improved a lot from last year. Uh, last they have, year. yeah. They, they made their debut um, at the uh, St. Jude tournament that was hosted at uh, Western, I believe, my senior year. So that would have been 2010. Oh, so okay. this is, I think, their third year in the NCAA, and they are much improved. And I really like their jerseys. It's really colorful. I think it's they, really official. It's, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, I think probably my second favorite behind DePaul. DePaul's jerseys are just class all the way. Um, but uh, Miami, of course, starting out every point with a uh, five-man disadvantage, only bringing ten people to nationals. And they have already been whittled down to looks like uh, five players. Shot clock violation. And we have a shot clock violation on Northwestern State. That is the fourth violation already this game. And I have seen several others in other games that I've been calling. Are the counters vocal? Are they very loud? Well, the benches are supposed to help out with the counting, but... Uh, Maybe after this point. But, uh... We'll see here if Miami can do anything with this uh, ball advantage they suddenly uh, discovered. This is an opportunity they need to take advantage of. Yes, absolutely. Especially when they're down 2-0. But they don't. No kills there for Miami on that uh, that salvo. I can't hear it like this four o'clock violations right now. Do you want him to count? I'm good with it. Yeah. Alright, cool. So all right, we've got a new uh, we've got a new shot clock counter over here. That's a good block. Oh, he went away. I thought he was the main ref. Was that the ref? Was he the ref? No, he was just the counter over there. Oh. And then, who's the main ref? Right? The main ref is across the board. Uh, a high throw there by Northwestern State. Northwestern State being very aggressive, though. You have to admire the Demon's tenacity. Oh, and number seven just crushes number 60 and that makes a stellar catch. I think we're seeing pretty quickly that number seven is definitely the star player for this Miami Red Hawks team. That was an awesome double play. You only see that in baseball, folks. I guess dodgeball has its own version too. Wait, I seen a YouTube clip before where some guy did triple play. Was that Western Kentucky? That was actually. Um, I saw that happen in a Louisville, UK game once. It was a oh. triple catch. Um, there's a video out there of a guy from Western, Jared Silverdale, making a double catch, but not a triple. Catch. He does a double catch, but he also throws somebody out too, right? He gets one kill. I don't think so. Maybe we're thinking of separate videos. Okay. Miami, over later. despite being uh, oh, a man. Oh, what a facial Just from number 35. Big number ride. 35 from Miami. Miami's headshot there. He, he's, you know, he's unconscious right now. Yeah. I mean, that was deadly. That Northwestern State player is hurting. Miami. Number 56 gets tagged on the foot there for Northwestern State to go out. You can hear the Northwestern bench urging their team to throw together here. Miami is now on a 10 clock as they are down the four players. Some great blocking here. 
I always appreciate a guy who can block just with one hand. You gotta have good defensive players. You gotta have really good hand strength as well. Number 54 of Miami is a stud. He's one of their top players. Stellar catch there by number 10, Avalon. Ah, oh, but gets tagged in the foot by number 48, who then goes out. But a great catch there by Northwestern State player number 73. Is that 73? Is that what you saw? 73. 73. 73, yes. Number 19, Ramos up making some throws for Northwestern State. He just can't quite find the target. Pushing up for Miami. Big Rod takes out Brittany Rogers there on a shot to the foot near midcourt. I think she's actually the president of Demon Dodgeball. Yes, she is. I never like the guy who tries to take out a girl in a game. <laughs> My philosophy is if they're on the court, they are just as even as a man. A nice group throw there. As success as Northwestern State eliminates a Miami player. Miami is now down to two and have called a timeout. So we will be back after this timeout here at the second point. And we are back underway after that timeout. Oh, number 35 for Miami gets out on a shot to the foot. It is down to one Red Hawk versus four Northwestern State Demons. Ramos spins, fires, and eliminates. The remaining Miami player, Northwestern State, goes up 2-0 against Miami.